Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today we're having a problem with the hot water heater. It's not keeping the water hot long enough, so we're going to take a look at it. I already turned off the power and removed the cover, and the first thing I want to check is the uh, heating elements. So I'm going to loosen this guy up. There's not really too much. I mean, you have a thermostat on the top. I think there's one on the bottom. And uh, you have two heating elements. This is an 80 gallon tank. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this uh, heating element here. So I'm gonna take my meter, check it for ohms, and see how much uh, resistance we have. Well, we have continuity, that's a good sign. And I'm pulling about 13 ohms. So, this heating element looks good. Uh, we're going to take it down to the bottom here. Here's a look at the bottom element. And we have no continuity through here. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm actually going to replace both these elements. Luckily in my stash of junk I know I got these uh, elements on hand and I also have some extra thermostat parts so what we're going to do is go ahead and replace both elements we'll turn this thing off i'm going to open a sink valve and i have a hose hooked up to the bottom we're going to go ahead and drain it out tank's been draining here for a while so um what i'm going to try and do is see if i can loosen up the uh top element without any problems need this uh specialty wrench or you can use um, a socket if you got a big enough socket all right while i'm waiting here i'm going to try and crack the bottom one see if i can turn it a quarter turn and these have never been uh changed and this water heater's 12 years old Well, that thing is really on there, and this socket's starting to disform. So, if I can't get it here with a little bit of leverage, I think I'm going to have to go get an inch and a half socket at the store, because I don't have one. So... I need a hardened piece of steel because this thing's just not hard enough. Not 
looking good. <laughs> okay, we're going to pull out the top one. I'm pretty sure we're down low enough now. Not too bad. And we'll put in our new one. Should be good and we'll connect our wires. Well guys, the metal on this thing kept deforming. So what I'm gonna do is step it up to a three-quarter inch socket. And oops, hopefully uh, we can get this. Okay, so I put a towel down here. There'll probably still be some water that comes out of this. And I got the new one set up with a gasket. bad as I thought it might. So we got the elements in and we're gonna fill up the tank with water. Gotta make sure you have the tank filled before you connect your wires and hook back up your power. Alright guys I got it all sealed up. You don't want to forget to put in these uh, plastic guards. And you want to be careful, like down on the bottom, my insulation got a little bit wet. So, uh, you know, I just made sure I pushed it down out of the way. We'll cover this up and we'll seal it. The job really isn't that hard of a job. Uh, the hardest part for me was getting the old element out because the thing was really rusted in there. And I have uh, well water. I was surprised. My my elements, uh, even though the one's not working, they look pretty good. You know, they they didn't. I, I expect them to be more worn down. And uh, you know, generally, water heaters last about somewhere from 12 to 15 years, but they can last as much as 20 years. Um, so. I think it's worth it to actually take care of them and you know all it is is thermostats and the elements uh, nothing else can really much go wrong with them as long as they're not leaking um, I know it's a good idea to drain them every year no matter if you have gas electric or whatever get that sediment out of the bottom but uh, if if you haven't drained it you shouldn't drain it because all that little rust and sediment when you clear that out of there, that, that can cause uh, rust spots to start leaking down on the bottom of your tank. But for the, the money you pay to get a new tank, and these are, this one's an 80 gallon tank, and they, they don't sell them at your home center anymore because of uh, efficiency standards. 
so you can only get up to I believe a 50 gallon there uh, you might have to special order it but you can you can still get them online but uh, you know I think it does pay to have some of these parts on hand and, and make the repair yourself and uh, you know it cost me probably like 30 bucks and uh, I figure I, you know I might get another two three five seven years out of this thing we'll see but uh, I'll put some links to the products I use down below and as always, thanks for watching, and uh, I have one other video on water heaters. It's on uh, setting up an electric timer, and I still have my timer up here set up, so uh, I'll put that down in the links as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.